Hello, my friend, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Today, we're going to be looking at automating copper goods production as well as concrete production. And we have sort of an issue here. Our iron has ceased. Now, we knew already that the rods, we did not want them to just be turned into screws infinitely. And we are currently bottlenecking on the constructor because we don't have any storage available for this. So that's what we need to do today. Let's go ahead and deconstruct this. We're not gonna waste anything just because of the way the deconstructors are set up. And it looks like we got left a little bit of a present. This is stuff that we could not fit apparently. Yeah, it looks like it. All right, so probably the first thing that we need to do is create storage. So let's take storage. Now we're gonna be redoing this a little bit later, but right now we just wanted to start capturing all of the goods that we produced, right? So let's go ahead and just go here. It's not gonna cost much, much more. And we'll just stack that right on top, okay? So now we can take this away. There we go. Have our rods back and we just run conveyors instead. So we just took away our entire production of screws but we can manually craft screws and when we get the splitters for conveyors we could do some fun stuff with that but right now the storage containers will start to capture all of our rods as well as all of our plates and uh, we could go from there so copper is a little bit of an issue concrete won't be so much but you're gonna see why copper is gonna be a little bit of an issue as soon as I scan for it so the copper node that we were visiting the closest one is there where you just saw the ping 150 away there's one that's 397 away one that's 548 away so those aren't going to be real practical but it's still going to be a challenge to get up there now there is a natural slope on that little ridge there but i think i want to produce uh, foundations and ramps to get up there a little bit easier and i think the way that we're going to do that is we're going to automate our concrete production first so it's the same setup as the iron was we're gonna take a little bit of a mining operation so to speak and run it into a constructor that just makes concrete and then we'll run it into a storage and that'll be it so we can open up our portable miner pull the concrete that we have out and it looks like that we're a little bit low on space in general here for everything so I'm gonna convert a little bit of this stuff and store it all right, my storage is set up. Let's go ahead and pick up the miner and we're gonna go to our production tab and create a miner right on top of this bad boy. And it looks as though it does not want to plant and probably because there's a node in the way. So when you get to a node and they have these large pure deposits, you have to take those out of the way so that it'll fit. Once the pure node is gone, you can then put your miner right on top. And we're going to make it go that way. Alrighty. Next in line is going to be a constructor and then storage. So we put together a constructor. We don't need to smelt this, which is pretty good. And then we're just going to park storage right after that. Alrighty. Conveyor belt. And here as well. And now all we need to do is power these two. And hopefully we have enough juice to make it work. Looks like we have a couple power line setups that we can stretch out to here. And I'm going to put this pole right here. The line is pretty darn nice. The amount of length that you can get for all of these lines is really, really great. And it looks like I need one more cable to be able to do this properly. And perfect. Now we're going to get a little bit of concrete production going. We just need to configure the constructor. So limestone will feed into the constructor and then we'll be fed into storage where we'll start getting concrete. And concrete's gonna help us build a ramp to facilitate the production and gathering of the copper node that's way up there. 
take a look at the ping for the copper node. It's right there. And I think the easiest way to achieve that is going to go straight up to the top of that ledge with foundations. So let's check out foundations. We have foundations four by foundations two, and these are the thicker so that we're gonna go with that. And I think it's probably gonna be easiest actually here to go up due to the way the ledges work there, I believe. So don't quote me on that, but what we're gonna do is we'll start building up from there and we'll just be able to stack them like so. And this is all taking concrete which is one of the reasons we decided to build like this. Now, the great thing about this is that you don't need to completely fill this in. You just need to build a little bit of stairway. And it looks like we need more concrete. Just think if we would have had them all put up. Let's go check on our production. All right, and the storage so far has only gathered 28 concrete, but passively, that's not that bad of a deal. So in order to speed this up, there is another node that's like right there for limestone. Problem is, it's going to take more power, and we already have a source of limestone, so I think it's smarter to use our power resources for copper right now. But let's see if we have enough of the foundations to move forward here. All right, we've got a nice little stack. We just need to turn these around and get some ramps up there. And here we are, right at the top. Hey, that wasn't that bad at all. <laughs> okay, where's this copper node at? So just to the right of the ramp, and we're gonna need to pick up the copper out of here and pick up the miner. All right, let's set up construction here. Production, miner, and we're gonna move it, I don't know, let's put it like this. Okay, that's gonna be right towards where we need it to go. We're going to have to power this as well, and we're going to have to feed conveyors. So I think what we're going to do is use the ramp to actually facilitate this. So let's take a power pole and put it like right here, shall we? Just on top of the ramp. Now we're going to be able to move our power lines like right here. And uh, let's see how far we can go with this. And let's bridge the gap like right here. So we can connect This line, actually, can we connect it to just that? There we go, we can. And then how about that one over there? Beautiful. And now that line is gonna connect there and it's all strung up, but we seem to be out of biomass fuel. And we're overloaded. So putting the biomass fuel in and flipping the switch, automatically kills it and uh, that means that we have too much being fed to this one operation so what we're going to do right now just to make this easier we're going to slow down the iron production here and see if that just helps it sure doesn't i'm going to set one pole up for each three machines there's a pole set up for that there's a pole set up for this. There's gonna be a pole set up for this. Let's just go ahead and take care of this one. And let's see what we can feed with it. One biomass burner here. Connected to the pole for the three. Connected to the pole for the three connected to the pole for the remainder. Then we connect this to the constructor and the smelter. We connect this pole to the miner and, and that was enough. That killed it right there. 
So we already know that it's more load that it can take with this current supply. So if these are the only ones connected without the actual miners, and we flip the switch, what do we get? Looks like it's going to stay fired up. Perfect. So with that being said, let's go ahead and link the biomass burner to this pole. And we have to connect the miner. The second miner. And our new network of toys. Looks as though we're currently okay. Let's add a smelter to the mix. All right, smelters down. And we'll connect it to power. And it doesn't look like it's shut down. Okay, let's feed it into with a conveyor belt. It looks like we're gonna be all right. Now, I don't know if it can take any more constructors, but we can funnel this all the way back there if we want constructors set up. That way, all we need to do is have the miner set up on this side. We could have brought the smelter down too, but it's fine. So let's worry about the conveyor belts now. Conveyor belt is going to have to go all the way down as well. So let's go ahead and put it like right here. <laughs> it's going to ride the edge a little bit, but that's okay. And we'll go ahead and put it like this, but we're going to need some more concrete. By this time, we should have enough. But that's all that's going to be. All we have to do is move this conveyor belt all the way down and we can set up the constructor and the storage down here. All right, so let's run our conveyor belt down now that we have our concrete. We can make it come all the way down the ramp. It looks like it's a little bit too long. There we go. Beautiful. And now we can connect this like so. Hmm, we're going to have stuff going all over the place. Actually, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and kill that. Make it a little bit more streamlined around this corner here. We'll put a conveyor pole like here. And we'll jack that up, right? And now we'll have a little space to walk when we decide to come here because it'll go right over it. There we go. Kind of looks crazy, but it's all right. We can make this go right over here. This floor is too steep. Okay, how about this way? And it looks like it clips through the mountain a little bit, but that's okay too. <laughs> as long as it doesn't stop production, I'm, o I'm okay with it. So we got our conveyor belt in the vicinity of where we want it. Let's go ahead and add our constructor here. And our constructor is going to set down so that we can feed it to make a wire and then we're gonna want another one to do cable as well we'll split this up later to where it's making cable and wire and throwing it in storage but right now all we need to do is add this so let's configure this wire and this one will be cable now, the cable production, we don't need a whole lot of it right now, so we're going to go ahead and turn that off, but it's set. So this sucker is going to produce wire as we go. We just need to make sure it's powered. So we already have a setup for power. We're just going to connect these and hope that the network doesn't fail. And it looks like we're pretty well set. One final step we forgot was to configure this to actually smelt the copper ingots. And that broke the network. Dang it. Let's see if taking off this last constructor will help. Let's pull one of the miners off for the moment. And the second miner off for the moment. And it looks like we finally have enough power. We need a biomass burner so bad right now. So all we're doing right now is waiting on wire production and what we'll be able to do is unlock biomass burners and make this little puzzle that we have complete.
All right, and with the last bit of wire, we should be able to unlock everything that we need to. Hub upgrade, select milestone. Let's start depositing stuff. And here we go. Hub upgrade five, baby. So now with that unlocked, we have access to tier one utilities, logistics, which can, includes the conveyor splitter and the merger. We have some personal storage options, an object scanner and a beacon. We got conveyor walls, as well as some stuff in tier two, which we can start. Now, notice the costs of a lot of these milestones to unlock, but it gets into some really, really cool stuff. Chainsaw, jump pads, tilted jump pads, a bunch of different types of walkways and stuff. But most importantly right now, we have the biomass burner. So let's look at the biomass burner and set up a different portion of power here. So we'll keep it all in one relative location. I think that is a good call for now. It only takes some rods, some plates, and some wire. And we now can disconnect this entire separate network that I had to uh, disconnect here. So let's re-look at the power one more time. So by connecting this entire setup with this new biomass burner, we're going to be able to free up the load for everything that was connected to this one. And that was primarily our miners that we disconnected. As well as this constructor here. I think everything else was put into place. Is this light blinking because of power? That is correct. So we should be able to set it up there. <laughs> Not quite. I'll tell you what, we're going to cheat a little bit. Not really. We're going to cheat a little bit and we're going to connect one thing outside the grid to this new power line. Oh, and it's full, actually. So what we could do to fix that is connect our other power line to here. Use this to connect to here. And even though it's a bit disorganized, Everything is currently powered now. The only thing that we're missing is a little bit of biomass. Let's go ahead and fill it up with biomass. Now the capacity is on and production has continued. Finally. <laughs> it took me a little while, but I got there. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the journey. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Lujan signing off, and we'll see you next time. Break it down.